Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. And today, I'm going to do a book review, but before I get into that, I want to say uh, that if you are part of my book club, Peter, Peter's Book Club, <laughs> um, which just passed 300 members on the Goodreads group page, which I'm so excited about, um, we are currently reading Heaven. That stops tomorrow, and we usually do a live stream discussion the day that we end that book. Um, but since tomorrow is Mother's Day, I'm going to move it to next weekend because I don't want it to interfere with anybody's plans. And I have plans in the late afternoon, so it's not going to work for me as well. So I'm just going to change that to next weekend, and that way I hope it'll be more convenient for all of us. So I don't know when you're seeing this review, but if you're seeing this review after May 12th, then just completely disregard that. Um, and we will also start tomorrow the next book, um, which is about the Golden State Killer. So if you're just seeing this and you don't know about my book club, Peter's Book Club, uh, it's all of our book club, actually. That's just the name of it. Uh, it's listed below. You can go and join it on Goodreads, and I do videos over here, and then we live stream at the end of it. I'm, people are really having good conversations about the books that we're reading. It's really fun to read all the comments. So today, the book that I am going to review is Bird Box by, I think his name is Josh Mailerman. So it's either Mailerman or Mallerman, and that is the cover of it. Now, let me tell you about how I found out about this book. I actually hadn't heard a lot of booktubers talk about this book, but I started talking about like my sweet Audrina and that I like mysteries and thrillers and kind of like spooky books. And so many people started recommending this book to me and I had never heard of it. It came out in 2014, which is interesting that I haven't heard of it before. And then incidentally, like two weeks ago, uh, Dylan the Reader 5 did like a shopping vlog where he went to different bookstores and he bought a copy of this even though he had already read it. And I was like, okay, this is interesting that like now he's buying a copy of it and typically what he likes, I like. So um, I was like, I'm gonna read this book and everybody's telling me that it's kind of really spooky and different. I gave this book five stars. And because it doesn't have any kind of like teaching element to it, I probably would give it a 98%. Um, it, for me, and I know a lot of people didn't feel the same way. They felt like it was slow. I thought the pacing was fantastic. And this is a spoiler-free review, so I'm not going to get into a lot of the specifics about it. But I do want to read to you guys the caption um, on Goodreads about what it's about. So let me get into that. It says underneath here, Something is out there, something terrifying that must not be seen. One glimpse of it and a person is driven to deadly violence. No one knows what it is or where it came from. Five years after it began, a handful of scattered survivors remains, including Mallory and her two young children. Living in an abandoned house near the river, she has dreamed of fleeing to a place where they might be safe. Now that the boy and girl are four, it's time to go. But the journey ahead will be terrifying, 20 miles downriver in a, boat, a rowboat, blindfolded and nothing to rely on but her wits with the chil and the children's trained ears. One wrong choice and they will die. Something is following them all the while, but is it a man, an animal, or a monster? Interweaving past and present, Bird Box is a snapshot of a world unravel that will have you racing to the final page. And I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I went and I read a couple interviews with the author and Josh says in the interviews, like, you don't really uh, know much about, like, the creatures, the monsters through the majority of the book. And he said in there that when you're writing horror novels, and, um, and I just actually got uh, his newest book. I think it's called Unbury Carol. It's brand new. It just came out. I got it in my page habit book this month, so, or box this month, so I'm real excited about reading that. But he said in, re in writing horror novels, you know, that one of the things you have to ask yourself as an author is, are you going to expose the monster or not? Like, are you going to show the monster or are you not? And leave it up to the imagination of the reader. This book was so terrifying to me at parts because it was so like, it, it felt like it really could happen. It reminded me a lot of The Road by... Uh, uh, Cormac McCarthy. So if you read that book and you liked The Road, you will love this book. I mean, they're, they seem very similar to me, but also very different in the same, same way. But like the attitude of like the narrator is very similar. Now I will tell you that I went into this being a little apprehensive about it because I was like, I don't know that I want to read, you know, a book about a 20 mile, you know, journey down the river. It isn't that. It is back and forth telling the story of what led up to her, where she's at now, and how she got to, you know, okay, so it tells the background story and goes back and forth. And both are equally interesting. Now, I will say this, um, I'm very hopeful for a sequel. And um, I will tell you that if you see this, Josh, I read in an interview that your sequel 
you wanted it to be uh, like maybe a, a different group of people. No, 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 no. You need to go back and follow where you left off maybe like a year down the road. That's where that sequel needs to be. Um, there are also pieces of this, I will tell you, although it wasn't zombies, you don't really know the majority of the book what it is, but um, it feels very much like The Walking Dead, kind of. So if you liked The Walking Dead, um, this is, it kind of feels like that a lot. Um, there, there's something that the, I can't even say this, but there's something that the author does to the entire, the way that you get like infected, the way that they overcome that is like kind of genius, the way that he does this in the book, and that um, you see everything through this point of view of protection. And I just thought it was so genius the way that he did it. And um, I literally, like, I listened to it on Audible and I could not put it down. I just, I mean, like, put it down on Audible. I just, like, every time I got in my car, I was listening to it. I just wanted to know what was going to happen next, what was going to happen next. And that, for me, is where I didn't think that the pacing was slow. And I know that a lot of people said that. Um, I think I read it over the period of, like, four or five days. I listened to it on Audible. Um... But, and that for me is slow for an audiobook. But you know, like, I didn't feel like the pacing was slow. I felt like the pacing was perfect. And honest to God, like, the pacing kind of like, I feel like picks up at the speed that it should throughout the book to make you kind of wonder what's going to happen next. I mean, at the end of every chapter, she, it's very much like the main character, she leaves you with like kind of a cliffhanger, which I thought was interesting. Um, I will say this, that the book is complete at the end, and this is a standalone, so you do not need to read it as part of a series. He hasn't even said he's going to make it a series or anything. I'm just saying that it could be, and I wish it would be, because I was so entertained with the story. And I thought it was such, you know, when we talk about world building, we often think about, like, you know, Six of Crows or, you know, like, Harry Potter. Well, this was world building, too. And one of the things that I love is, like, when you read books that are world building within our world that we have already. Um, and I don't mean like Harry Potter and then like there's a different part of the world. I mean like where you take the world and it's like this, uh, like not even like apocalyptic world because I have to say the book, even though it's kind of apocalyptic, feels to me like two years in the future. It honestly does. Like it doesn't feel like much, it, it could happen today. So it's very interesting reading it from that point of view. Um, I gave it five stars, like I said, 98.2%, 93%, I don't know. Um, you know, I thought it was really a fun read. It was great. I thought it would be a good summertime read if you're off from school or off from work with the kids by the pool. It'll keep you up. I don't think it's so scary that, like, a lot of people said it's so scary they couldn't sleep at night. I did not feel that way. And I'm somebody that gets scared easily reading books. So it won't terrify you. Um... But I just think that, it, like, if you like thrillers and you like horror novels, it's a new take on something different. So, and I love that. I love kind of a new creative spin to anything. The main character, Mallory, is really likable. But she's really likable because she is very normal, which I love that he just kind of picked this very normal character. But she's also, like, she's pregnant, and I'm not ruining that for you. You find out, like, right away in the book. And she's pregnant through the majority of the book, but she's not, like, overprotective mama bear. She's just, like, very real with, like, having to deal with what she's dealing with being pregnant. And um, I don't know. I just felt like the character, like, it was interesting when I was reading this interview, and it went in there, and it talked about, like, the research that he did, and I, I don't want to ruin, like, if you're reading, if you read the book, the first question you're going to ask yourself is, did he ever live this way to experience what it would be like? And if you enjoyed this book, you should go back and read some of the interviews that he did about this book, because they're phenomenal. And he's also a musician and has music out and stuff like that, and he's in a pretty successful uh, band. And um, I don't know, it's just really cool to read about him as an author and to see, like, where he came up with the ideas for this. Um, the idea for the title Bird Box, like, I knew, like, you know at some point what it means, but down the road it has a fuller meaning. And I love when authors tie in the title to what happens in the book. Like, not just on a literal level, but on a figurative level. And I thought that he did it in such a fantastic way. And it is very much horror, but it also reads as literary fiction. I mean, it's just very well written. I mean, it's really, really well written. And I was really impressed with it. I was really impressed with the way that, without really knowing a whole lot about most of these characters, 
He builds very, I mean, I almost want to say she, because you feel like you know Mallory, the main character, when you're done with it. That he builds such realistic relationships that are believable between all these people. And probably one of the most suspenseful pieces of the book is about a certain character. And the way that he does the build up, like as a reader, you know what's going to happen before it happens. And it's like, I mean, like it's very Alfred Hitchcocky the way that it turns out. And um, so it's just fantastic. You know, and there were elements of like the birds in it where you felt like, I mean, do you remember, did you ever see the movie The Birds? There were parts of this, and that's not because it was called Bird Box. There are parts of this where it's like you feel like you're being watched as the reader, if that makes sense. It's very very creepy so and it was just so well done and I really liked it even past the creep factor so go check it out bird box Josh Mallerman he has a brand new a Mailerman I hope I'm pronouncing his right name right he has a brand new book out called Unbury Carol if you want to see it I did it over on my last page habit unboxings um, unboxing so anyway and I hope he writes a sequel because I was really at the end of this book I was like I want to know what happens next you know so anyway I love you guys and um, I will see you tomorrow Bye.